how do you think Miles is, is doing or has done coming back from that injury? He's doing well. Um, he's kind of he's starting to look like his old self. Um, you know, physical at the point, um, running around. I think uh, for me, I just wanted to see what his movement skills are going to look like, and it's starting to look like you know, pre-injury. Did you ever go through anything like what he went through? Because it's that would have to be a tough mental hurdle to climb back from tearing your knee up and, and then trying to come back and play on it again. No, I mean I had so, uh, shoulder surgery in uh, college. With me. Like, you know, it's, it's not my lower lower half, and uh, you know ACL is a major surgery. And uh, when we were you know talking to him uh, throughout the process, I kind of share my experience, but his experience was way different than mine. So I could I could not like I know exactly what he was going through. You know, but just trying to talk him through it. Trust the process for rehab and just stay in there mentally because um, you know when it happened, devastating for a young man. You know he's, he's handling well. You pretty excited about the depth that you guys have at the oh, position this year? Yeah, very excited. Um, so this is a really good group. Man. It's, uh, guys work hard. They're, they're, they pull for each other. Um, super skilled. You know, uh, young but, but skilled. You know the Cosmos and this guy in there. But excited, man. Uh, as a coach, you can sit back and you, you know the guys. You know, Athletically could get it done, physically could get it done, and you know it's fun just to see them go in there and uh, execute, you know, their assignments. So uh, looking forward to this year. I feel like BJ and Takate, even going back to before his senior year of high school, has been injured a lot, but now he's healthy. How does it? How has it helped him that he's been able to like actually consistently yeah, yeah. practice and get reps? It's good, though, I mean, because you know he had uh, his freshman year, I think he played pretty well. You know, uh, it's, it's it's not every day you see a freshman handling himself like he did last year. And then, being out in spring, you know, that would have been real good for him to catch spring. But I mean, he's, 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 he's kind of picked up where he left off last year, so it's good to uh, it's uh, it's good to have him out there. You know, I broke up the group today a little bit, and I put the young guys <laughs> separated them. He was like, "Oh, oh, I ain't with the young guys now." I'm like, "Nah, nah, you're, the young guy stuff with you is that's over with." So, uh, see him like an older guy now. I know it's his year two, his sophomore year, but I mean, he, he handled himself like a like a you know, junior senior. So. With moving Darren to in and getting Miles back and just everyone else getting a year older, how much better do you think you guys will be in Oh, man, we're, 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 it's, uh, it's definitely made us better. Um, you know, Darren, uh, he's a rare, rare athlete. Um, you know, having that young man, you know, to the field is going to help us big time this year. And, uh, you know, we just want to get our best, best athletes and best players on the field. And, uh, Darren is definitely one of them, so it's good to, uh, when we lost him, you know, I told him we're still part of the front, you know, so at the end of the day, we still all D-line, but uh, it's, it's for the betterment of, uh, of our program and our defense. How much of the, of the need, how much do you guys address the need on that line to, to be able to kind of apply more pressure with some of the size you guys brought in, some of the new guys you brought in? Was that a conscious thing where you guys were trying to, like, it's a spot needed that needed to be kind of fixed up a little bit? Yeah, 100%. I mean, uh, me personally, you know, I, I believe this uh, this conference, man, it's, uh, it's, it's it's a different conference when you talk about the guys in front. You know, for us, we had to get bigger, faster, stronger, longer. Uh, guys who can push the pocket, guys who can rush the passer, and, um, you know, depth. So I think, um, I think we're, we're at a point right now, and, and it's young, uh, it's still young front, but, you know, I, we, we truly believe that we have more depth than we've ever had, you know, since coach uh, got here so it's uh you know it, it, it's exciting just to see so many pieces that we can rotate in you know, Brad, at the end of the day it's about fresh bodies bradley man looks dramatically bigger um wh what have you seen from his development uh he's been locked in from day one uh, you know when he went through his injury never flinched went right at it attacked it but you know the craziest thing about things like that is you know, he spent a lot of time you know just getting bigger adding mass and he just he looks massive and He's starting to move like his old self now, so I mean, uh, you know, it's really good to have him back. But I mean, he, he's, he's 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 mentally mentally locked in right now. Uh, physically, it's coming back. And you're excited about him, man, because that, that that was a, that was a that was a big body inside. You know, that could have went inside or out that uh, we missed last year. Anything else, guys? All right, thank you.